right, here we are at Moon Palace Mizuk, uh, room 5511 in Nenufar building. And one of the first things that's unique in this place, if I can get it to work, is that the room key is built into your wristband. Which is pretty cool when it works. Uh, we were in just a regular room. Robes, place to put your suitcase. Uh, I'd read online that you could request more luggage holders if you want to keep your suitcases up off the ground. A automatic light in the bathroom was really nice, a sensor light. They kept uh, flipping off and on every time we went by. More closet space. Safe, very easy to use. Four numbers. Push the star key and that would lock it. And then four numbers and that would unlock it. Lots of room in there for a laptop, uh, electronics, all that kind of stuff. Lots of bathroom space. We include the hair dryer and the uh, iron. That's my assistant there. Uh, water taps, lots of bottled water in the resort. And we give it out pretty freely. It's in the fridge and it's also available at all the bars and all the restaurants. Uh, lots of counter space around the sink we found. Bathroom, pretty standard stuff. Phone we never used. I guess you could call for a room service pizza uh, when you're doing your business. Uh, this room had the shower. Uh, the overhead shower worked really well. Controls, pretty standard. Easy to, they worked easy. We've been in resorts where it was confusing to figure them out. Uh, there's a clothesline in there even. So if you have to hang your wet bathing suit or whatever. Uh, the room comes, they advertise quite proudly that they have chi products, which are great, uh, but what they don't tell you is you get one bottle at the start of your stay and that's it, and then they go to their own uh, awe brand, which is just fine, but it's just a little detail. Uh, pillar in the middle of the room. Lots of cupboard space, lots of plug-ins, lots of Lots of uh, light switches all across. The controls for the temperature work really well, up and down. Uh, only work when the balcony is closed, like a lot of places. So sometimes if it's you don't feel it kick in, just double check that your door is closed all the way. Coffee maker we never used because of the 24 hour room service. So we would actually order a pot of coffee when we woke up in the morning and it would arrive soon after. Um, so that was really handy for us. Uh, the kids loved and the family loved having room service 24 hours. We'd order breakfast, we'd order late night snacks, we'd have the odd meal in the room. There is a fridge. I got some pop. And you got some pop, did you? <laughs> All right. There are in room liquor dispensers uh, tequila, rum, vodka, and whiskey. Uh, we didn't use them that much. It sounds better than it is, but uh, you tend to go to the bar to get your drinks and the uh, dispensers I found are really low to the ground, so you're kind of doing it by touch under there. It would help if they were mounted up higher. Uh, pretty standard stuff for a all-inclusive fridge. Uh, mixture of pops. The juice boxes were a big hit. They gave us some milk one morning with breakfast and we used that all week. Uh, they have a mix of American and uh, Mexican beers, Corona. Um, and then occasionally we would keep stuff that we got from the restaurants in there, yogurts and things like that. So I won't turn the TV on, but the TV was great. Had all a mix of channels, uh, Canadian, American, Mexican, all kinds of different things. Um, You get a bottle of wine in your room. Oh, and the TV is a smart TV, so it's actually, we didn't use it, but it's got the internet, it's got YouTube built in. It has a Bluetooth speaker built in, uh, so that if you want music in your room from your phone or whatever, uh, you can do that really easily. 
There is an ice bucket and there's an ice machine, I think, on every floor. Uh, we're on the second floor here. In-room jacuzzi tub is nice. Um, one thing we ran into with it is that uh, because it runs a cycle at the end after it's um, been filled and you turn on the jets and then you um, turn it off and it drains and then, I don't know, 20 minutes later or something, it will just run some air to clear out the tub. But because our tub drained quite slow, uh, it wasn't fully drained and it even to 20 minutes. On my bed. And then it squirted on her cot. Uh, so one night we had a moment where all of a sudden the jets just turned on. Uh, the water wasn't quite out of there and it just sprayed water all across her bed. It dried quickly. It didn't, you know, no harm done. Um, but my daughter had to sleep in our uh, second bed with her brother for one night because she was a little nervous that it was going to happen again spontaneously. Nice big mirror. Uh, one thing that you've probably read online is that they uh, have double beds, not queen beds. <laughs> and uh, and that is one of the big uh, unfortunate things about it. It's, it wasn't, you know, a deal breaker, but it was really sad when everything else in the room is so Get good. Off my bed and uh, and to have the smaller bed was unfortunate. You, some people do take the table out and push them together and do a king, but depends how many kids you have and things like that. There is a side table that we use to eat at or to put our laptop on. Uh, there's a plug-in underneath, obviously Canadian American, North American style plug-ins. Light switches everywhere. Um, as you've probably read online, there's Sunrise and Nizuk are sort of um, two parts of this of the Moon Palace. Uh, and it's kind of luck of the draw. You can request in advance, but you may or may not get what you request. And we were very, very fortunate. We ended up in Nenufar, which is building 55. And uh, we had an ocean view. We were relatively close to the Nizuk lobby, which was just beyond those buildings. And then we were a short walk to uh, Sunrise, which was just over there. So being central in between the two, there are lots of carts that run uh, through, golf carts that run regularly through the properties uh, that can take you where you need to go. But it was great for us in the morning. We could head north and go to Nizuk restaurants, or we could head south, what I call south, I don't know what direction it is, uh, and head to Sunrise very easily both ways. Uh, they've got a big gazebo there. Uh, we saw... We've been here for two weeks and uh, leaving today, but we saw half a dozen weddings in two weeks in that uh, gazebo, so that was really cool. Uh, what else? Balconies are not huge. There's room for two people, plus a little table. There's a little nook there, so you're not, if you're a part of a big group, you're probably not going to sit on a balcony in one of these rooms. The sunrise rooms have, most of them have hammocks on them. Uh, the Nizuk ones don't. Again, probably not a deal breaker. And lots of little features, uh, little water fountains and rivers and lakes, uh, people riding bikes that you can rent. So, anyways, that's that's the quick review.